Hello, welcome to my channel and craft room. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please click the like button and leave a comment. Both of these things really help out my channel, plus I love to interact and chat with you all. I would also love it if you subscribe so we can craft along together in future videos too. You can find me on other social media platforms as well. Those links will be in the description box under each video. I'd love for us to connect there too. Right, let's get crafting. Hello everyone, so we are back for part three of making the envelope folio. So last time we managed to finish these two sections, so we've got just a little bit more to go before we start working on our signatures. So let's get started. Uh, so that's that side essentially done. We've got this page now finished. So I'm now going to be moving on to these pages. Now I have done a little bit of die cutting. Uh, I'm just going to put my scissors there just to hold that bit down for a moment because that crease still needs to be a bit encouraged. So what I have done. So here I would like three slotted pockets. Um, and I did something similar in my... I think it was my detective lap book. Um, I see Nick the Buf Booksmith doing these, not quite this style, I've kind of jazzed it up a little bit with the ends, but um, she'll have like brown paper that's cut into this kind of shape and then she cuts her slots in and then these became become the slotted pockets. Um, and I really like that, I think it looks really nice and really different. Um, so that's what I have done. Now to make these, this is just um, a brown envelope that again I've just um, die cut out. So as you can see it's not particularly sturdy or anything uh, but this is quite thick sturdy card so it didn't need to be too much. It's more for kind of decoration. To get this shape I have this banner die and then it has this kind of topper that goes on the end and you would normally have it like that. Obviously I don't want the flag shape on the other side so all I've done is on the back um, just where you obviously got the flag shape I've then come right up with where the hole is um, just so that it looks the same on both sides. So that's all I've done. So I've just used a die that's meant for something completely different um, but try to use it in a creative way for my journal. So all I am going to do now is between those two holes, um, now that the glue's all dry on these, I'm going to cut a slit and then when this gets stuck down onto this card before I attach it to the envelope, I'm going to cut the slit in here too. Or actually to save myself some time, I might stick these down first and then cut the slits in. Yes, I think I'll do that. So I'm gonna move this out of the way because obviously I don't want to cut into the project. I'm just going to decide where I would like my pockets. Now again, um, you can do this however you like. So you've got to think about how you want to glue the back. So with these slotted pockets, quite often you just glue around the side. This one is a shallow pocket. This one obviously has until the bottom of the page. And then this one is taller still. But if you don't have anything that's going to be that tall, then it might be an idea to maybe glue along where the top of, uh, obviously on the back, but at the top of where this is, so this then becomes another shorter pocket. So it's entirely up to you. I think I am gonna do that one. So this one is going to be a short pocket, this one's then a short pocket, but this one will be, the middle one will be um, a bit longer. I do hope that makes sense. Hopefully when I start cutting and gluing, you can kind of see exactly what I mean. So this one I'm going to put roughly in the middle. So I'm just going to glue that one down first. Okay, so those are going to be my three slotted pockets. Um, again, I'm going to wait for the glue to dry before I start cutting into it, otherwise while it's wet, um, I'm probably going to end up tearing the paper. So I'm going to let that dry very, very quickly. And then while that's drying, we can work on the next bit. 
Okay, so again, I've done a bit of die cutting. Um, this one is obviously another envelope, but I would like a window cut out of this envelope because I'm going to have my trifold um, tags inside. So I want a little window so you can kind of see that. So what I have done... So this was the piece that was kind of measured. Um, I have this kind of ticket shaped die that I've just used to kind of cut that out. Um, I am going to keep the strip that has been cut out because again it might come in handy at some point. Um, and I have, I know it's probably difficult to see, you might be able to see it on that envelope, but I have a piece of acetate which uh, nicely fits over that window. So the first thing I'm going to do is firstly just remember which way up that goes. I think it's that way. And then I'm going to hold it in place roughly where it's going to get stuck down. Then using my pencil, I'm going to draw on the envelope. Now this does not have to be exact, but just a rough guide, okay? Now I'm going to cut my window slightly larger than the drawing that I've just made. Now I don't know if you can even see that drawing, I have done it quite faintly, um, but I have drawn that shape. So I'm going to cut that out. I am going to use a craft knife only because I find that easier. So I'm just going to put something behind here to protect my surface. Okay, so I've got my cutting mat inside. I'm using this ruler because it does have a metal edge and a craft knife. Now, I know that you can't see this on camera, but I, because this is a clear ruler, I can see where my pencil drawn, is li drawn line is, and I'm just outside of that. Um, and then I'm going to carefully make my cut all the way down. Now, this is obviously a thin envelope, so I'm being careful, hopefully, not to rip the envelope like that and then I'm going to do the same on the other side so let's rotate it so again looking for that pencil line Okay, and then doing the sides. You can, of course, use scissors for this. I personally just find it easier with a craft knife. Okay, and then I'm just going to gently out okay just like that and then I'm going to take that out okay now there are a couple of ways that you can do this so you can pop your acetate on the inside of the envelope I'm actually going to put it on the outside only because it's much easier to try and stick um, then trying to do it on the inside and then this is obviously going to go over the top. So I'm going to get some double sided tape and just put that as close to this edge as I can um, because obviously I don't want this then being uh, caught when something slides in. So if I put it as close to this as I can with the double sided tape then that will hopefully hold this snugly to the acetate so there won't be um, much risk of catching. Okay, so as you can see, I am going right up against the edge here because I want that as secure as it can be against that acetate window. So I'm just giving it a good burnish, a good push down. And then I'm going to peel those bits up. Okay. 
Now obviously of course if you are um, crafting along you don't have to have a window in here. Um, I just thought that it might be um, just a nice touch to the envelope. You don't have to use acetate, you can use uh, vellum if you like, that would be a nice effect as well. Um, the acetate that I'm using is actually old packaging. Um, the way that I store my uh, stamps and dies, I end up having lots and lots of packaging left over. So um, yeah, I decided to store all of that plastic so that I can use it for projects like this. So yeah, use use what you have. Right, I'm going to try oops, and line this up as best I can so that it is even. And then again, just give that a really good burnish. Now I am going to put double sided tape on the acetate. Um, I am going to be adding glue to the window as well. Um, but I'm just thinking that having double sided tape just really make sure that uh, this piece is being stuck down to this piece. So I'm just going to put, I'm not going to go overboard, I'm just going to put a little bit down uh, a couple of the edges. So down that one and down that one and I'm going to do the same for the inside here. Right, so now we can get this bit stuck down. Put that to one side. Okay, and then just for good measure, I am going to add some glue as well. Because we obviously want to make sure that it is secure and doesn't then start coming apart later on. Awesome, right. So I think it was that way up. Actually, I'm going to turn it that way because it might be easier. Now, the nice thing about using the liquid glue is it does give you a moment to manoeuvre should you need to, whereas obviously double sided tape doesn't. So that's why I sometimes like to use a mix of two. Right, so that is then going to be stuck down and then hopefully we have a windowed envelope. Brilliant, okay. Right, while that's drying and before we move on to the next part we're going to come back to this one. So I'm going to move this out of the way. These parts are now dry so we're going to cut our slits. Okay, so the way that... Um, as I say, this technique I've seen from Nick the Booksmith. I did do the same on my um, detective lap book. However, I didn't use a die. I just literally cut strips of paper. Um, but essentially, where the two holes are that are punched either end, you're now going to cut a slit in between those. So I'm going to find where the edge of the hole is. And then cut my slit. Okay, one thing that I didn't think of actually is that I need to hole punch these in here. I'm not sure if my cropper dial is going to fit. Oh, it does. So I'm going to, where they've got those holes there, I need to make them again here. So I'm just lining up my cropper dial just so that back piece, I might punch that the other way as well. That's 
better. Right, I'm just going to do that on all of them actually. Okay, so that's got the holes in there. I can carry on with my slits now. And then just to make sure, I'm just going to come just below that and make another cut. then you should get now obviously it's a bit thicker at the ends uh, where I've obviously got that cardstock as well so I do have to just go over that section just to get it cut out And then you end up with a slit like that. Um, I'm actually going to change my cutting board because this one's a bit slippy, which is why it's getting a bit tricky to uh, actually trim. But yeah, that's essentially what we're going for. Three slits like that. Okay, so we've got the three slotted pockets. So this is going to go on here. Uh, which way round did I have it? Was it that way? No, I think it was that way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, as I said, this one is going to be a shallow pocket. So when I glue, I'm going to apply glue to the top bit here so that whatever goes into this pocket can only slot down to the top of this one. Uh, after that, I'm only going to glue at the bottom. So whatever comes in this um, slot can actually come all the way down to the bottom here so you can get some larger things in there and then obviously I'm just going to glue all the way around so I'm going to do that now and stick that section bit down okay so hopefully you can kind of see where the glue is on there and then this is going to get stuck in here. Okay, so the idea being then that this is then a shallow pocket, it only obviously comes down to here. This one is obviously a wider pocket and you can actually see it coming through because this is going to come all the way down to the bottom here. But this one is again going to be a shallower pocket and stops at the top of this one. So you can have smaller things in here as well. So that's that one. I'm going to let that dry before obviously I start shoving things in there properly. But that's that one and I really like these slotted pockets. I do love them. Right, okay, um, I think we're just going to finish off this envelope and then um, this back panel and the uh, journal part, the signatures, I think might have to wait till the next video. So we're just going to finish off this bit, so this bit's nice and easy. So just like we did on the other side, I've got some, it's actually the other half of the um, music paper that's going to get stuck in here and then I've got this panel uh, to be stuck down there. I am going to stick this down. Um, this is going to have a belly band or something on it 
Um, I just haven't got around to actually making that part. But as I said, that will be, I think, in the next video. So I'm just going to finish off this part. So I'm just going to do the same uh, thing that I did last time. So I'm going to slot that in there. Oh, actually, I might need... Yeah, I'm actually going to need a different piece of paper because... Um, where we've now got a window, if I pull this up, you're going to see that there's the edge of the paper. So I'm just going to grab um, a different bit of music paper. Okay, so this one will do. Although actually you've got the blue on the other side, haven't you? Um, that's okay. Right, um, let's see. Okay, I think going to get rid of that part. Now I need this to go all the way down to the bottom, which is about there. Now the nice thing about these old pieces of um, music paper is they're uh, quite brittle, so they do tend to tear very nicely. And then I'm just going to glue that to the bottom. So then at least when that's in there, you'll see music paper through the window when there's nothing in there. So it doesn't look quite so hideous. So let's glue that down. Uh, I was doing it that way, that way. Okay, so hopefully now we can slot that in there. As far as it goes. And then, as I say, I'm just going to do the same as what I did last time. So I'm going to pull that off. I am just going to swivel this round. Just because I'm left-handed and I need to get to this side. So I'm just going to squirt glue in up to the window. And obviously around the top. And then pop that down. Okay, well that's doing that. That's the bit that's going to go on the back, so we'll do that in a minute. I'm just going to stick this down. That's going to go there. Right, so that's that part, and uh -huh. then we've got this part which was going here. So I can stick that down already while I'm waiting for that one. Right, and again, I'm going to put it right up to the edge of the envelope opening. And then it adds that sturdiness for the actual envelope. Right, okay, let's bend this over. And trim that bit. Okay, 
And then the last bit is this edge. Uh, let's see, the writing goes that way, so that's the way it's going to get stuck on. That's going to go on there. So again, I'm just bringing it up to the edge of the envelope opening and then I can press down from this side and trim those bits off. Right, okay, so as I say, I think for now that is going to be it. But I am absolutely loving how this is looking at the moment. And obviously we've got room in there for, oh, I don't know, maybe two signatures, two nice full signatures. So let's just take a little tour very quickly. So we've got this bit that opens up. We've got a nice pocket there. We've got a side pocket there and then a nice large envelope there. So that was that side. And then that string just goes around and comes down. We've then got our three tags in the pocket there. This flips over. We've got three slotted pockets there. Um, a windowed envelope to the side and then as I say this side's probably going to have some kind of belly band. Now I wasn't putting a closure on that one only because obviously when that's down and that's down that's holding everything together so um, I wasn't going to put a closure on there. So in the next video then we can start working on the signatures. I already have um, my pages printed so these are all the pages that I'm going to be using. I have printed um, double sided as well. So on the backs of them I used, um, I've got in my shop, it's just I think six, might be seven, six or seven. But they're just background pages um, and I don't know how well that picks up on camera but there's just a faint lace effect to them. So it's a tea dyed piece of paper that I've scanned in and then I've put kind of um, a lacy pattern over the top. So I just wanted something nice and light on the back um, because it's kind of a floral lace it went really nicely with the papers. Um, they are different designs so that's that one. Uh, then you've got this one which looks more like kind of strips of lace. Uh, then you've got this again I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. Um, but that's got very faint flowers on as well. Um, oh, again, this one's got really beautiful kind of waved effect. Um, that one's a nice one as well. Again, a nice floral pattern. And it goes with... Where did I see that? Ah, oh, here. So on here you've got a, a similar kind of floral pattern, haven't you? So it's the same kind of thing as that. Um, yeah, so I've got that on the backs of each of my pattern papers. So I'm going to be using those. I am going to um, be using some other papers in there as well. So some doilies and uh, possibly some paper bags, all that kind of thing as we do um, in our junk journals. So yeah, lots and lots of pages all ready to go into the two signatures. Uh, they're going to go there. And then, yeah, like I said, just finishing off that back panel. Um, and yeah, adding all of the bits and pieces that kind of go everywhere as well. So yeah, still a little bit to do. Um, it will definitely be one more video, perhaps two. We'll kind of see how long they get. Um, I don't want to have my videos being too long because I do realise people have lives and do not want to be 
sat in front of the telly all of the time watching YouTube. Um, so thank you very much for joining me today. As I say, if you do want to take part in the giveaway, you do need to check out video one. So part one um, of me making this um, floral envelope journal. I will have that link down below. Go and check that video out. See what it is you need to do if you want to be entered. Um, it is... Uh, an international giveaway so it doesn't matter where in the world you are uh, this will be sent out to you if you are the winner well thank you very much and i'll see you all in the next crafty video bye for now